So, in your opinion, has dancehall music gotten better over the years or has it gotten worse? You yeah, know, this is a very touchy um, question. Why? 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 She don't know what they're good, good. I'm Janiel Essen, and with me today on this episode of Child Month Interview Series, I have with me none other than Mr. Kemar Christopher Duane Ati, but most of you know him by stage name, Ding Dong. Hi, Ding Dong. Thank you for talking to me today. It's nice to be here. Yes. Glad nice to have evening. you here. Yes. So I have some questions that I want to ask you. Yes. General questions and I want your honest answer for these questions, okay? I always give my honest answer. All right. Well, the first question, what makes Ding Dong tick? Meaning what motivates you to get up every day and just work hard? Me? Probably because me is a worker, all like my bond away there. I'm mean, like, when I like handouts, mm. so I like the things myself. And me's a, basically, just because me is a worker, all like. Okay, okay. I like, yeah. All right, well, all right, so who would you say is your biggest inspiration? Who's my biggest inspiration? I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a who, I think it's a more of a what. It's like life itself oh. and where I come from. And where I come from, I, I made it my point of duty to be like i'm going to change the whole narrative of the way i come from type of vibe mm -hmm. and and just do whatever they think that it's impossible from people that think they're coming from somewhere else so is 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 the person that really shed that light on me in terms of influential type of thing is my yeah. grandmother my girl with where is me so um i do basically some of the time i i, I just sorry so she can't get fit Inherit even a day out of where we accomplish, but you don't know. We, we do it the same way to the rest of the family and everything, but it's not a, it's not a who for me, it's, it's life itself. Okay, okay, yeah. well, that's really, really good. And when did you know that you wanted to be a dancehall artist? Um, I never, I, I, I made a decision to be a dancer, okay. not to become a dancehall artist. But in due time, because I'm a person where if I start out doing this, I like to see elevation, I like to see growth. It's like if I go to a restaurant and I say them have a little spot here so selling the food and everything. Yeah. I want if I come back there so the next two years time, yeah. I see a big old place where you can have you can sit down and consume your food or you can go self-serve or I like to see growth. So sometimes so, so when I start doing something now, it going escalating what's next. I used to play soccer first, football. Oh. And then I just decided one one year so I'm not playing no more football. Now I just dance. Get all heap of cussing from a family, them still cut them some of a look work and them thing. But I stuck with it and it got me here. Well, yes, yeah. look where you are now. Yeah. Okay, so I want to know how did the Ravers Clavers concept come about? And is it only about dancing or is it a way of, say, thinking or expression? It's not just dancing because you have a lot of people in a Ravers that don't dance. Oh. And some people control the social media aspect, some people might control the marketing aspect or the promotional aspect or something or you get me okay. everybody play a different part it might be a small thing as probably driving a bus to where we're going but yeah. it's 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 big to me because everybody played a part ravers came about when i am formulating a group and i unpicked people that i want to be in the group mm -hmm. mostly at the time it was people from none of it i didn't want to have a group where one of the members them come from Portmore and one come from Ochi and one come from this. Now we expand, we can probably do that now. Yeah. But back then I was like, I wanted to be close, like, like family. family type of thing. Mm -hmm. So if you notice the group, nobody's perfect within the group or we are not a perfect group. Yeah. Because we have our own couscous sometimes as like a family do. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Sometimes I don't step in, because when I step in, I just use, it just come like me, I use my authority as, oh, I'm the man. So, you don't have to stop doing all the you have to stop arguing, you have to talk back to one another, it don't so come off natural. Yeah. So, you make them cost out and they work back together. If I see like it, I get too far now, I'll be like, mm -hmm. all right, it don't know. So, what I do is I unpick who I want in the group at the time, mm -hmm. and anybody that come now to be a part of the group, they have to be accepted as a family, not just by me, but by everybody else. Mm -hmm. I might like you as a person, as a dancer, but then you cannot mesh with the people in the group. It never works. True. If you don't have a drive, 
if you don't have ambition, if you don't have certain level of intelligence, read and write and all them type of things, yeah. it's hard to be a part of my family because okay. and respect most of all. Definitely. Because yeah. respect goes with respect. Oh. With, every, yeah, with everything. Of course. Yeah. All right. Well, what's it like working with other artists like Shensia, TJ and all others? Some artists it's easy for work with some. Some artists are the most difficult thing for work with. Oh. Yeah, because some some artists have this egoistical attitude, like they just feel like, okay, you can't tell them no. Oh. You can't do this. Not just artists alone, but even producers sometimes. So sometimes I just work with people I comfortable with. I've worked so hard to be privileged enough where I can call an artist and be like, no. Can call an artist and say, I have an idea for your song, and a man say, What is it doing? All right, I'm ready now. <laughs> okay. That then I couldn't do that because we never depend the level or mm -hmm. in terms of idea. But people know me represent, like artists know me represent them, know me represent clean cut, nice music, fun music because me is a merge of street and dancers. So people know what me I go do is not any ordinary thing. So if I think about an artist, I go up on a song, mm -hmm. sometimes it go, it work right away sometimes we have to push the envelope a little bit <laughs> we don't know the business we are in, in comedy yeah, okay. okay all right so let's get into more let's say tedious topics now mm -hmm. so like teaching so teaching in schools nowadays is a lot different from say 15 or 20 years ago yeah do you think that teachers now versus then are more effective or more committed to the teaching we have to understand the times and things change and mm -hmm. it will change with every aspect of life as much as we want to keep on, on the old rector type of thing or the old way of living or whatever, we keep certain morals, you know, because we grow certain morals where we we'll start to weep by our grandmother and our parents and everything. Yeah. And we try to we try inflict that upon our kids and, and, and people around with. We try to lead by example. Mm -hmm. Kids listening different now. Mm -hmm. Kids viewing different. That's true. The world gets smaller now. So, so the least of the things that we never have back then to influence a child. Mm -hmm. It didn't know by the tip of them finger through smartphone and through internet and through TV and everything. Mm -hmm. So now teachers have to try to adjust the way they're teaching because kids are listening different now. Mm -hmm. Kids are seeing things different now. So you can't go back to, okay, with the dust of them on the board and the chalk and, and, and ride upon the chalk board for the, and then use dust. And when a student now pay attention, you fling the dust off of them. That now work again. You know what I mean? So you have to, you have to change within the times. Yeah. So it becomes more and more of a technology type of thing now where iPad their school or whatever the thing and then COVID come come so bam and box everybody on them face and be like okay mm. when I go like we never want to change we have to change now you understand what I mean yeah. so it's not like it is more committed it's just that the thing is changing now okay yeah. well that leads me to my next question actually what's your view on corporal punishment like do you believe that teachers should be able to hit students in school um rough <laughs> I, never say that. I would have never said that because I don't want nobody to lick my pitney. You see, I wouldn't want nobody to beat my pitney or whatever the case and not going to cause problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you, you can use other methods. You don't have to use beating a child or whatever. Just like I would tell my kids them sometimes, mm -hmm. you don't have to put your hand on a child neither. You have to do it from young though. Like you have to try to curve them from young. So if you start teach us a class, you have to make them kids and know that you're a no-nonsense teacher from the day one. Yeah. You understand? You can be friendly, you can be cool, but you have to make them know you're a no-nonsense teacher. Mm -hmm. You'd send them out and send them to the office, to the principal office. You call them parents, you try to keep a, a close tap with, 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 with the parents because a lot of these kids scare them parents. Yeah. And just come to school and go at them at the big toughest and everything. But when time them parents them start to appear at the school and shout at them at the school and them feel embarrassed or whatever the case may be. You're not saying if you're supposed to come do that near parents. But yeah. I'm just saying you have to do because every child is different. That's true. So you have to know what, 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 what measures you're going to take or what you're going to do. You're going to restrict them from watch TV. You're going to restrict them from going out. You find out what the best thing, what the, what the most intriguing thing to a child. Mm -hmm. And you take it from them and tell them I misbehave. Oh. You know what I mean? If that no work, you try something else. You know what I mean? But you have to just know your child or know the kids that you teach and know where best we work in terms of punishment. But you don't have to be them. What advice do you have for children, especially now that um, social media plays a huge role in mm -hmm. our lives? Very good question. Mm -hmm. Kids nowadays feel, and then I don't sometimes blame the kids entirely. Mm -hmm. 
because children live what they learn. That's true. And then a lot of us as artists might feel like, oh, I sing about this, I never tell nobody if you go do it. And my music not have no influence on a picnic. And my music not have no influence on nobody. Shut the crap, bro. Of course we have influence on picnic. Of course we have influence on the people. They might go live with them, learn. They might go live with them, see. So if you sing about this and them feel like, okay, it's cool for you to in a video doing certain things, then them go and feel like it is cool. Not telling you that you are responsible for raising a child. You are not. Because the parent is supposed to be on top of their kids when it comes to certain things. Mm -hmm. I raise with my kids like me, I raise with my friend them. Because I don't go hide nothing from them. Mm -hmm. Because when they hide it from them, when they go face it in the world, they don't know how to deal with it. True. You know what I mean? So I tell them the straight truth as to what it is and I talk to them straight up and be like, listen to me. Not because every, a lot of these things on social media are, are just for shows and yeah. plays and Instagram likes and comments. Because mm -hmm. you feel like if you do this, they go and get comments or some people pretend. I might see somebody and they might look like the prettiest person in the world. I look like them is the kindest person and the laughiest person, the funniest person. And when I go around them, it's a totally different thing. Yeah. They just put on an act because of social media. Mm -hmm. But kids watching that, not knowing that, because they might never meet that person. You have some kids that might never meet Ding Dong in their life. Mm -hmm. So then just take with them sip on Instagram or them take with them sip on a social media network or whatever the case and be like, okay, this is the person that I know. Yeah. When I might see this, I'm a regular human being like you. Where, drink water sometime from the pipe like you are yeah. I cook the regular food with every, I'm just a regular person mm -hmm. so of course yes we are influential to kids so we have to be careful and be mindful of what we display publicly yeah. and then the kids have to understand that don't feel like you have to fit in with what go on yeah just be you and nobody rush it neither a lot of kids rush it to become the next Kardashian or the next Shensi or the next this or you know what I mean? Don't yeah. rush it because guess what? You're living a phase of life or you're living a period of life which is the greatest period of life because you don't have to worry about no bills. You don't have to worry about oh you're going to eat food, just live life, go to school, get education and just enjoy your youth. Don't rush it because everything where you're going to rush forget at 13 and 14 and 15 and then you're 50 it's still out there. So during the height of the pandemic, a lot of students were struggling in school because mm -hmm. of lack of a device or no internet. Mm -hmm. So if you were the prime minister or the minister <laughs> of education, say, how would you fix that problem and what would you do? Boy, well, that's one big task. To be the <laughs> prime minister, I don't even want to to be the prime minister. Because listen to me though, a lot of we will just see things and we stress about it, but we as a person or, or we as a community and then don't understand that. The Prime Minister have not just one assignment mm -hmm. for deal with. It's a whole heap of thing. So if me forget up and say how me I go deal with um the whole thing where kids for, for, for accommodate the kids, um, that is just one sector of the whole country. So I can talk anything where I want to talk now because I don't know how the budget stay for, for accommodate every single soul or every kid. Yeah. So me can't say anything now talking from that, that one point of view. Yeah. But the Prime Minister have whole heap of things to deal with. The road them mash up, the this, that, that, and budget have a split go all about. I don't know them bank account, I don't know how much money they collect, so I don't nah come debate about that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Me just know say, because I am a leader and I and I fend for my family mm -hmm. and I take care of the whole of my family and make sure everybody all right. So if I get a dollar, it have to go all about the place. Mm -hmm. So it's not everybody me can take care of specifically No. Somebody have to wait till the next trip or the other. So because I just they say that. Yeah. So if me me try to do my thing as a as an artist, where I try to give back iPads and the tablets to them and I try to give back and Shensi do it and Romish do it and the whole the, the whole team do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But that is just us. You have other people, other artists do it, try to fetch in. Because the Prime Minister can do everything. True. The only thing I can say. Mr. Prime Minister, all me I beg you to do is try to help everybody where you can help and just know say, I say go. And the people if you understand say if you don't reach you today, probably it can reach you tomorrow. So, just curious. Yeah. What do you enjoy to do in your spare time when you're not in the studio creating a hit or creating a new dance or you know taking the world by storm? What I enjoy most mm -hmm. is like to go on dinner dates with my wife and things. Okay. Yeah. Link up with my kids them and talk. And sometimes I like my own space. Mm -hmm. Just chill vibe, you know what I mean? 
So, in your opinion, mm. has dancehall music gotten better over the years or has it gotten worse? I don't think dancehall music gets worse, you know. Because you know, this is a very touchy um, question. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people skin thin when they talk the truth or the reality about it or whatever the case. But it's like, uh, it, it can never get worse. Mm -hmm. To me, you know why it's not worse? If you check black then, in dancehall arena, mm -hmm. you don't have as much artists to get the break, like now. Yeah. But then you have to in a system. You have to in a camp. You have to in a group. You have to know somebody who really know somebody who know somebody who can carry to somebody or whatever. Yeah. If 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 a big artist now carry with them and say, listen to the artist or whatever the case, sometimes it's hard to get a break. Mm -hmm. So they have you they have only for songs. That's why they probably stick so long. We never have as much songs you have now. Yeah. Social media change up everything because now. A young artist or a little youth not have to know somebody where in another camp, they are in another camp. They can might just sing something on Instagram, mm -hmm. post it, yeah. boom, it go viral, and it busts. Now, in terms of the quality of the production, yeah. that is where sometimes we lack shot. Not because you have to record a song in a one studio here and it go hit, or whatever the case, it doesn't mean it get the proper production. That is what we lack with some part of the music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now, a lot of people are going to say the new sound of dance hall and the sound before. You have to understand too again. Music has got to change. That's true. The time has got to change. Yeah. When they did have Bounty Killer and Beanie Man. We did have before Bounty Killer and Beanie Man. You have the Stitchy, you have the, 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 the Yellow Man. They were sounding different mm -hmm. from Bounty and Beanie mm -hmm. prior to them. Yeah. So, where they are going to say, Killer them a mashup music or Beanie them a mashup music or whatever the case may be? No. It's changing now. Yeah. Because younger generation coming up. As I say again, kids listening different now, mm -hmm. kids viewing different now. Yeah. And who carry your music? Kids carry your music. That's true. You understand? So if they might listen different and they might think different and they might do different, not just because of we, but it's just life itself. The world, if something used to happen in America, it's hard for we see. Because TVJ probably not cover it. Mm -hmm. Or CVM not cover it. And the world is big for one time. Now the world gets small yeah. through social media. It's just that we now have to be more conscious as to what we sing about as young artists. Because you have to understand as bad as, bad as it be, we do have influence through the music. You know what I mean? But I am happy that a whole heap of youth get break now. A whole heap of little youth I get break now. Wait, not so hard. Mm -hmm. Like one time. Yeah. You understand? But I just think in order for we make the dance hall bigger. Yeah. We have to kill with ego. Where we feel like, oh, better than a person or better than a person because the business is big enough for everybody. Mm -hmm. But if we come together as one, dancehall can be the most dominant genre of music in the world. And we can't wait till late because a lot of artists mm -hmm. wait till late before them try to do this. Okay, okay. Yeah. In my opinion, I think that women are underrepresented in yes. dancehall. Um, I think they have to work twice as hard as the men. Do you think that is the case? Or you think it's level playing field? Like, if you work hard, me work hard, and just... Listen now. You see certain questions? Mm -hmm. Certain questions is not because you don't want to come off as a feminist, or you don't want to come off racist, yeah. or you don't want to come off in any other way. Yeah, man. You understand what I mean? But really and truly, a female, I don't want to say, yo, but what is the realistic thing I the, the dance hall culture is a, is a, is a male dominant That's true. culture. Mm -hmm. It's a male dominant thing. So if a woman has fought within the male dominant, it's like a, a, a pack of lions yeah. and the king lion. See? Yeah. But the lion is aggressive too as well. But if she go up, uh, go up against or uh, go up with her herd, uh, a, a, a big old something there, a lion with big. She have to go show herself like she have to go work twice as well. You understand what I mean? So it's just the realistic thing. I females have to work twice as hard, of course, but they are more easier to promote and easier to market. So women have that on them on. Yeah. A woman can dress up sexy and re, re, re. We young look one way with a swag, jeans, shirt, whatever. Yeah. Have a little regular ear cut we keep for all two ears straight. Woman change ear, change wig, have different appearance. It's easier for a woman to sell and market. Yeah. Right? But women have, a, have it harder within the business just because someone 
feel like say if a female are go under female rasta and female umbrella, mm -hmm. you must sleep with her to do certain things. Mm -hmm. You must feel, you must feel, feel like you must have her as a woman for for be like okay, this is my investment. Yeah. And sometimes when some producer don't get them way that way there, mm -hmm. them tend to turn them back and shut them back for a female artist. Yeah. Now female artist out there were strong enough to be like okay, I'm going to do this without. I feel go through that. Yeah. If a female artist decides to them go there with one, whosoever go the producer or whatever for them, them do it after for them one term. But yeah, it, it, it is it is stated now where a lot of people will make a changes and now will fight for that or make that. A lot of female artists will fight for make it the standard thing they know where people are going to look on a female artist as just talent now, not just feel like okay, more and get to that woman there. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do this for her and get to that. Yeah. Standards there they know. A woman can say, hey, no ramp with me because she have ten different producers who want to work with her. Yeah. She have ten, ten different artists who want to do a song for her and she have a platform where I don't have to go through you, so I don't have to be nickel myself to go through you to get which one I want to go. Mm. I can do other different things, social media. So the woman them stronger now and them stronger in the numbers now because you have a whole heap of female artists. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So it's, 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 it's just the body of work where a female artist put out right now and how she market and promote herself. And I think she'd be good. She don't have to go ten times as hard as a male. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, okay, Mr. Ding Dong. So yeah. I am looking for a new member of the St. Diego High School School Challenge Quiz team. You're so, looking for a new member? Yes. I'm going to look for you as a for new member. Yeah, man. No, so I'm a big chair manager. No, so man, you're good, man. Is that right? So let's see. <laughs> I have questions for you. Rapid fire Mickey questions. You can't do them. So, yeah. Listen. All right. Let me easy, try. easy question. Dad. <laughs> San Diego. Da, 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 da. Right. That is not buzzer. It's right. like minutes. Yeah. So rapid fire. I yeah, 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 them. Yeah, yeah. I like six questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's see if you're ace the audition, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Should be hard, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Alright. Who is the Prime Minister of Jamaica? Anjo, bro God, oldness. Alright, what's the capital of Kingston? Capital of Kingston? Ding dong. Might as well. It's Kingston, yeah. but alright. Yeah. What are the colours of the of the US flag? Um, blue, white, and red. Yes, what's yeah. the plural of goose? Plural of goose? Yeah. Goose what? Goose as in the animal, the, the goose? No, 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 pass. Geese, all right, Geese. Cubs. Ready again, what protects your brain from damage? Yes, call? Yeah, man. Yeah. Who painted the Mona Lisa? What artist? <laughs> <laughs> all right. We can't get one artist from now. I'm not pushing Yeah, man. All right, well. <laughs> I'm the geese alone, my miss. <laughs> Come here, you know, I mix up the goose. Yeah. Because two of us say we have, a, we have a goose, I think. And us still remain still in our gears. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. yeah, teach me. Come here, never know that. Ten yeah, seconds. ten seconds for name. Five ding dang dads. Just five. Bad man for us. Yay, we don't start the ten seconds yet, sir. <laughs> yeah, go so fast. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go. Bad man for us, keep to my low. Um, lebe, lebe. Um, mm. Mm. Yo, so much Five of them. Five, four, <sighs> three, two. Two, Maggie, and next five seconds. How much for gone? Three. And I tell you, Fido? Five, Fido. Two more. Two yeah, more, Fido. Five more seconds. Cool. Flowers are bloom. Um, step away. Um, you see, I make sure you when I didn't even know. No, you ask me. Yeah, man, I but the songs, that, um, but if you ask me now, with Ding Dong and Ravers Clavers group, though, then I could not get 50 more too. Because I don't take credit for dance that I don't know. Okay. So like Shola Fair Fling, even though it's under Ding Dong, is cool Ravers Clavers dance. Okay, all right. So we're going to do it again. No, 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 no. We're going to answer the question already. No, 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 no. We're going to do it again. We're going to answer the question already. All right, fine. We have to tell you who created this, who created that. But we can't do it. We can't come, we can't do it. Five. Just yeah, five, five like ravers. Down ravers and, and the ravers. ravers. Cool. Yes. yes, all right, cool. Yeah, ten seconds. Ten seconds, good. Ready, go. Yeah, Gwe by Disha, Fling, um, Cool Ravers, um, Flare is Silent, um, um, Cha Cha Boy, Cha Cha, um, Dancing, and Stir Fry, Stir Fry for, for, for Cherry Ravers, yeah. who again, um, Ravers Rock to, um, Coot Boss, Curfew. Yo, they want to dance, man. And it dip. You got that, you got that, you got that. 
you got that. The people yeah. know him dance them. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yes. was a pleasure talking to you, and trust me, I learned a lot, especially yes. about the industry and stuff. And that's all we have for this episode, guys. All right. <laughs> I like her. She's a good soul. <laughs> That's all we have for yeah. this episode in our Child Month interview series. Thank you for mm -hmm. talking with us, Ding Dong. And yes, uh, yes. I'm Genial Essen. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.